previously, aka two days before this video. <laughs> and today we are going out on a three day trip. We're headed to Berlin tonight. But y'all, these cookies. Busted. In a not so surprising turn of event, we're gonna go to the club. <laughs> I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day Cashing in my dreams, big payout Underneath my money tree, big say Hey freaking flyers, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm Brandon, I am a New York City based flight attendant for a European carrier. Welcome to chaotic days of my reserve life. That's what this is about to be. So after I finished my last trip from, what was that, Berlin? Sure. Was it Berlin? I don't even know my schedule. I had two days off and then I started a reserve block. I think in that vlog I told you that they changed my schedule and changed three of my reserve days to a trip, which will be going on on Saturday. But the first two days, Thursday and Friday, are long haul reserve. Well, on my first day off, my two days of long haul have been switched to standby. It's three hour call out, yeah, I need to make my way to New York because I'm not gonna keep playing with fire. 10 hour call out, I will stay down in Miami because I have 10 hours to get to New York. But on a three hour call out, I need to be in the in base, like actually in the city. So we're going to New York later on tonight. My standby call time doesn't start until 6.30 tonight until midnight 30 once the last flight leaves. Today we're going to unpack, get our life together, do laundry, decide if I'm gonna meal prep, and then repack, and we need to be out the door in like um, three hours from now. So. I haven't even opened the bag since I got home. It's just literally sitting here. All right, so that, we don't need. Those are pants that finally got returned to me. Toiletries, shoes. This is my galley box for when I'm working in the galley position. Cosmetics. Bluetooth speaker. This and this can stay. Jewelry. That's my travel scene. But what I really need to take out is these clothes. Fill up some toiletries and swap out jewelry. I always take jewelry on the road with me because y'all know I like to go out. We like to fool la la and have us a good time. And so I like to make sure I also look nice. Perfect opportunity for me to talk about the sponsor of today's video and that is Ana Luisa. You all have heard me mention Ana Luisa on the channel many, many times. Ana Luisa is a brand that is committed to making sustainable jewelry that they offer at very affordable prices. They are a carbon neutral brand and so they offset 100% of their carbon footprint. Their jewelry is long lasting and it is tarnish resistant. Right now I'm wearing the letter necklace, it's the letter B obviously be for Brandon and I've actually had this piece for seven months 100% <laughs> of their pieces are strength and humidity tested so you know you're going to get a quality product and on top of that testing they now offer a two-year warranty on their pieces but when I tell you the quality a one for example um, the bracelets that I'm wearing today I'm wearing um, Elijah. The Elijah bracelet is actually my longest piece. It's the first piece I got from them. And I paired it with the Paperclip Slim bracelet as well. This one is brand new. And when you look at the two together, you wouldn't even think that the Elijah bracelet is over a year old and that the Paperclip one I just recently got. I have showered in their jewelry, I have swam in their jewelry, and I have never run into any issues with anything. On top of the fact that they have many of their pieces that start at $39. So it hits the perfect price point. I will probably say that the Elijah bracelet is my favorite piece. Second, the ear cuffs that you all have seen me wear um, from time to time as well. Highly recommend Ana Luisa if you're looking for sustainable jewelry for everyday wear just to elevate your look but if you're also someone like me and you're on the go and you move and you want quality pieces that you can take with you that look nice, 
but also won't break the bank. Ana Louise is the way to go, and I'm gonna help you out because when you use the code Fly with the Guy 20, you will receive 20% off your order. So be sure to drop down below in that description box and click that link to get you some jewelry. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. So I am going to swap out some of the pieces that I've had because I'm very much just a gold jewelry wearer. Like I've learned it about myself. When it comes to jewelry, it's gonna be gold. Like this necklace. I'm gonna throw in both ear cuffs. I'm just going to take the Elijah bracelet with me. I'm going to take both of these bracelets that I'm currently wearing right now. That is going to be our on the road jewelry for the next couple of weeks. I don't change it out that often. Low key, it'd be like once a month. It used to be every trip, but mm-mm, mm-mm, it just ain't happening. And I'm going to retire these pieces from the road. They might make an appearance back out at some other point. All right, so I feel like I mentioned to you all a couple vlogs ago that the toiletries were running low. So <laughs> I'm just gonna take a moment and uh, find the things that need to be refilled and refill those so that we are Gucci. Ooh, this one is heavy. This one for sure. You never have enough lotion, especially in the summertime. Alright, so when it comes to packing clothes, this is where it gets kind of tricky because when you live your best line holder life, you know where you're going. You just check the weather of the places that you're going. When you're sitting on reserve, you don't know where you're going, so you can't check the weather of where you're going. Caveat is, Brandon only flies to three places, Rome, Paris, Berlin, and if I get lucky, I get sent to Oslo. So if I just check the weather of those little four places, I can have an idea. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are really what I'm looking at in terms of the weather. Rome is hot, of course. Just all sun, all hot. Oslo is cooler and rainy on Saturday. Berlin is moderate. It's pretty moderate for what I would expect out of Germany right now. And then lastly is Paris. Paris rain on Saturday. But it's also hot in Paris. I guess it wouldn't hurt to look at Queens too, since that's where I'm gonna be. Oh, it's raining all day long today. Jesus. I know for sure I'm done with these black shoes. I'm gonna bring back my white shoes. So those can go there. Let's grab our jackets, work shoes. Now everything else is all up for grabs. Do we want shorts? Do we want pants? What do we want? Y'all, I'm so ghetto. I put a ring light in my closet. It ain't no light in here and I be needing to see. So ghetto. Let's grab this friend. And uh, khaki shorts. Or white. White shorts, khaki shorts. Or green. Let me shock the world and go go. All right, so, bam, one. One down, many more to go. Let's do a pant option. My go-to pants. And, uh, I actually think a graphic tee would be a good idea. So let's grab a graphic tee while we're in here. Let's grab a black v-neck. Nope, that's sleeveless. What the f*** are the v-neck? Who has this many black shirts and is this particular about which black shirt they put on? Me. V-neck. Okay. Slowly but surely we're getting somewhere. I need to quickly hem, sorry if you all hear the washing machine in the background, this pair of pants so that I can temporarily wear them while I wait 
to drop them off to get tailored. The problem is I need to drop them all off and I need it to be a time when I don't need to wear them. So I need to basically have like a stretch of like four, almost maybe like five days off that I can drop them off to have it done. And I just don't have that in my schedule right now. That's a totally like a me problem, a nobody else problem but me. Because I let somebody borrow these pants and they didn't fit them and I'm just now getting them back. All right. Let's do the other side. You all can tell how like poorly I'm doing this, that this is truly what you call a rush job. I have like an hour before I need to leave. The flight that I listed for is at seven, but um, trying to get up to Fort Lauderdale, which only takes me like 20 minutes from my house, but with that rush hour traffic, it's probably gonna take me more like 40 to maybe an hour. So I am trying to leave here at 4.30. So that if it takes me a full hour, I get there at 5.30 and I think boarding starts at like 6.15, something like that. Alright. Future me is going to be real mad if I leave here with this bed I made and I have to come back and make up a bed after working a work trip. Oops, look at all that water. Mm -hmm. Just need to knock these fold creases. Out of these pants so they've been folded up in a bag waiting for me since may oh my goodness okay so for food i had originally like for my trip i had planned to do some chicken stir fry veggie spring rolls but that was for my trip that's on saturday i am undecided about this is worth it okay i know for sure i'm gonna go ahead and make my little snack charcuterie box i don't know maybe i should make the food because it'd be better to have food than to not have food this is why we call it my chaotic reserve life it's a lot of i don't know if i want to spend the time i got like 30 minutes i could just cook this food or i could just buy food out Ooh. I hear my mom in my ear saying, we got food at home. Let me just cook this food. All right, so I've shown this before, talked about it. I got this, this little bead box or sewing accessory box. I can't remember. I either got it from Dollar Tree or Walmart, one of the two, but super inexpensive. And I just love it for putting all of my charcuterie in one spot instead of like having a bunch of little small bowls or a little bunch of small bags for everything it can all fit and it tends to be the right amount of stuff for like a three or a four day trip i do a lot of grocery shopping at like walmart and trader joe's and the stuff that i buy there in terms of like the packaging of pepperoni or i buy just like like the block of cheese and I dice it up myself because it's so much more affordable than buying like pre-sliced or pre-diced cheese like I can buy one block and get like two of these out so essentially that's like two six day trips for me out of like one package of pepperoni or one block of cheese one bag of uh, carrots like this hummus was low-key left over from my last trip and I'm gonna finish it, I'm packing it up today for this trip. And as long as I keep it cold, everything is copacetic. And now these pickles are the package of the hottie bites. And it's like one package that goes in here. And I just snack on. <laughs> All the pieces that don't fit. But that is that. All right, so we got our chicken and veggie stir fry right there. Some white rice and my veggie spring rolls. I just need to bowl everything up and it'll be time to get dressed and get out of here.
All right, so that is the extent of our meal prep. In case you're wondering, these are the Rubbermaid Brilliance containers. I use the hard plastic instead of the glass so that it doesn't weigh down my bag too much. Um, we're gonna take some apples. We're gonna take this uh, Thai style sweet chili sauce for our vegetable spring rolls and our little snack box that we put together. And we're gonna make it work. So that is that. Last thing I need to do, throw the dishes, dishwasher, start that, take out the trash, Taking out the trash is always part of my ritual before I leave for a trip because it might not be funky now, but who knows how it's going to be in, you know, three, four, six days. So always take out the trash. If you are a flight attendant, comment down below and let me know what is part of your unpacking and repacking routine before you leave for a trip or anybody watching before you leave for a trip or vacation. What are some of the things you do around the house? I'm going to throw on my uniform and uh, yeah, get up out here currently 4 30 which is the time i wanted to leave not pressed about it because if i leave by five i'm still leaving more than two hours before the flight so should be good there i feel like i'm going to stop this vlog right here so that i can start a new work vlog for the reserve days and the actual work trip and yeah that's that thank you all for making it this far hanging out with me on what was supposed to be a day off, but it's now a day of me having to make my way to New York. As always, if you're looking to elevate your look this summer, be sure to check out Ana Luisa and all that they have to offer using the code 5 with the guy 20 to save 20% off of your order. Again, that link is down in the description box. I'm Brandon, I'm a guy who flies, and I will see you all the next time. Everything goes by.